Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on how to make a 35mm strip holder. You'll need film strip, something to cut paper with, tape and glue. And I'll be using this cutter that I have because it makes way more straighter cuts. First what we're gonna do is take the first piece of paper and cut it. It really doesn't matter what thickness I'm eyeballing these just right now. Just strips like this. Now that is done, I have a load of strips. For our second step, take the next piece of paper and a piece of strip of film. Now take your pencil and draw the entire piece of film. As we have the outlines here, you're going to take up two strips, line them up and glue them like so. And the other one also. Next step is to just draw the first and the last, last notch. As you have done that, you're going to just connect them something like that and then what you're gonna do is you're going to cut cut it just a little bit like that don't cut it yet all the way so it's like this and now just cut two slices of um, paper like this from your paper slides we're gonna form a bridge here a clue Use glue here. Let's glue them right there where the film would end. We have another one for the other end, so we are gonna do the exact same thing. Take glue and put it where the film slide or strip would end. But now, as the bridges are here on their places, you can take or cut this middle parts off. You can cut off the excess areas and because you don't need them anymore. Here we are. What you're gonna do next is you're going to make covers on top of these and that's Technically the last part, so you're going to put this strip on top of this and the film will be inside there, so So when it's gonna be like this, there's a small groove like one paper thick groove where the film will be able to slide through I'm gonna leave this to dry up for a few minutes. I'm gonna cut these ends off because obviously that's too long and excess. So now you should be able to slide your film under the bridge into the groove. So what you're now just gonna do is you're going to tape down your, your DIY film strip holder. I have done a red line here to show me where the uh, correct lining for the strip is. So I will try to line this up without adding any height to that. I test scanned two strips and they were surprisingly good, but I did find one minor Newton ring from the scans. I will recommend that you add one to two strips onto the bottom of this thing what we just made so that it has a little more height. So after I elevated the film holder by gluing those paper strips onto the bottom of the film holder, I had no Newton rings forming in my scans. That was all for this video. Thank you for watching and leave a comment to this video if this video helped you in any way. And yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.